Hey guys, it's Kieran from Server Pro here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up this plugin, Staff Chat, on your Minecraft server so that you can have different chats for staff. As you can see here, I can type in the chat SC hello and it will appear in a staff chat that normal users will not be able to view. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing we need to do is install the plugin. So, to do this, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the plugins tab on the left hand side, select Spigot here, and then just search for Staff Chat and then it's the one that has an icon similar to this one and then click install latest. Then once that's been installed, you can restart the server. Now it is important to note that staff chat does require a permissions plugin for it to work. Otherwise it does not work correctly. So I would recommend setting up a plugin like permissions X. I will include a link to our tutorial on permissions X in the description down below. And the permission that you need to use for staff chat is staff .chat, and that will give users permission to use the slash SC and then speak in the chat. So make sure you do that. Even for OPs, they will need to be set up with permissions on a plugin like Permissions X, otherwise it won't work. So once you've got Permissions X set up or a group manager or another like plugin, you can restart the server and then join it and take a look at the plugin in game. So as you can see, I've just joined the Minecraft server and because I've already set up for the permissions, you can see that it is saying I'm a staff user there. And then if I was to type plus SC hello, you can see that it appears in the staff chat. And whereas if I just put hello, it will be in the normal chat. So normal users will not be able to see the one that begins with staff chat. So that's great, the plugin's working and we've confirmed that. So now let's take a look at the configuration file for the plugin. So if you go back to the control panel, then go to the files tab on the left hand side, then plugins, and then open the staff chat folder and then open the config.yml file by clicking its name. And then here is the configuration file. It's very simple. We'll make a couple of changes just to demonstrate how it's used though. So the first setting here, which is the main one, is the prefix. So this is what appears at the start of the staff chat message. So you can set this up however you'd like and use whatever color codes you'd want to. So I'm gonna put just server pro, just for the demonstration of this tutorial. And then you can change the color of the messages here. So I'm just gonna change them to, let's say a light red. And then you can see all of the other settings here. It's very simple. One that you may want to change is the join message. So if a staff logs in, it comes up saying staff plus and then the user. So you could change this to whatever you want. You could maybe put um, staff player has joined or something else. It's completely up to you. So once you've gone ahead and edited all of these, make sure you click save and then restart the server. And then you can take a look at the changes in game. So as you can see, I've just joined the server again, and that's the join message that I was referring to in the configuration file. If you configure that, it will change this there. So if I was just to type in the staff chat again, you can see that it is now displaying server pro and the color of the chat is red instead. So you can configure that to however you like. And that's that plugin setup. It's really simple to use. If you run into any problems at all, make sure you contact our support. There'll be a link down in the description below, but you can contact them on the support link on our website and just send us a message and we'll get back to you as quick as possible. Other than that, I hope this tutorial has been helpful so that you've been able to set up staff chat correctly. If you have any suggestions for new tutorials that you'd like to see in the future, post them down below in the comment section and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.